everybody, hope you're all having a fantastic day. For today's message I'm going to be channeling both the masculine and the divine feminine energies. And if you would like a personal reading or twin flame coaching, please check the description box below. And I'm going to begin with the first card. Spirit says you are likely to receive some help. We're beginning with the masculine. Spirit says you are likely to receive some help from a caring and wise person who is able to help you move forward with a problem that has been holding you back lately. Prosperity emerges through utilising skills of perseverance and dedication. There may be a welcome surprise in your life thanks to this individual. So I'm inviting you to <clears throat> persevere in what you're doing. Persevere with the inner work, even if you're not seeing results on the outside. That's all the more reason to persevere. You keep going and we will have our heaven on earth. It's an inevitable part of evolution. Heaven on earth is compelling. It drives a higher way of, ma of being. Mastery will be attained. Bad situations will go away when we master them and grow beyond them. death so uh, the tower was in the same place in the previous message yeah, there's a lot of change happening in my life a lot of transformation a lot of awakening a lot of rebirth I may be reaching the end of a very dull cycle in my life and standing on the brink of a wonderful new love cycle in which I get to be with my beloved, with you. I am scrubbing off the old parts of me that do not serve me so that we can have our harmonious union. I'm making room for all this more, all this love to rush in. I'm learning that the pursuit of love now through transformation of self is the only way forward. It's an exceptionally productive step forward that I'm taking right now. Yeah, endings, transformation, new beginnings, rebirth of intimate involvement. But I am putting the past behind me and parting ways with the past, ready to embrace new opportunities and possibilities. I may be finding it hard to let go of bits of the past, but I'll soon see its importance and the promise of renewal and transformation. Uh, I'm releasing control. No more resisting these necessary endings. I may be experiencing pain both emotionally and physically. But by exercising my imagination and visualising a possibility, I allow more constructive patterns to emerge. I'm sorry I couldn't do right by you, so I wasn't in a place where we would have been able to. We may have had a relationship before, but because of the old parameters for a relationship that we used to have, old belief systems, our harmonious twin flame union, no way could it have been fit, fitted within the confines of that, of those parameters. It's too big, it's too vast, it's too profound, it's too everything. <laughs> but we're learning the new way now. We're learning the, the way of union. The Divine is demanding that we meet her by staying present because this is our long-term rise into eternity with joy, peace, prosperity, love, bliss, the highest human attainment. We have more spiritual maturity than we did before and we're going to need every bit of it. So if you're upset that you used to party with me and maybe even go to bed and now you're doing the inner work in separation, Remember, the voice of immaturity is the old way of being. 
This is the way to have everything. This is the way to have the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of love. This is... That was how it started. This is how it's going. So choose to go deeper. The truth is your heart. That's your connection with the divine, with me, and everything that's compelling you. So to deny that and throw it out is to throw out God. Don't let anyone make you do that. It's only love. And I am who I am to you. And ultimately, it's just the divine that you feel. So choose this. Don't sell out for anything less. Understand the divine is your heart. Don't pull away from your heart. Trust your heart. Let me remember what my purpose is. Child of God, you were created to create the good, the beautiful and the holy. Do not forget this. So please know you never have to worry about anything. I'm having an immersive spiritual dunking right now. And I'm really enjoying it because my heart deeply desires it. Because you are that, you are this. It's, you, it's your identity, it's your truth. It's going to feel so good for the both of us to be able to step into that and let go of the settling energy and be fully able to receive each other soul to soul. Can you feel my presence and our oneness floating around you and all the way through you? There's no such thing as separation. Okay, now I'm going to channel the feminine. Spirit is calling you to be a mentor as you're able to give advice to someone who reaches out to you. Opportunities will soon arrive for you which will improve your life in significant ways. You will be able to pursue goals you have been putting off. A sense of security flows into your life soon as well as many special invitations and the opportunity to reconnect with close, close friends. So there's people, you're going to attract people into your life who will really benefit from what you know and what you are and what you have and what you share. You'll attract the right people into your life. Just your presence alone is a blessing to your friends and family. There will come a time when we're both so ascended that even just your presence alone, just by your presence alone, People will be transformed. And we have the Ace of Wands. So I'm really desiring this passionate new beginning. It's a happy, happy, be open to it. Be open to miracles. Be open to receive blessings. Take it, I'm taking action in alignment. I'm being swift. I'm being passionate. I can sense this new start. I'm focusing on primal urges. I have energy to burn right now. And this is showing a true spark in our connection. The beginnings of a romance that's very physical, a whirlwind relationship, or one that's passionately charged. Now don't worry about the details of it. Just allow yourself to be swept away with passion and abandon. Time to... We're going to be trying new things together. There's going to be fireworks. But uh, best of all, we've done the work. You've been doing the inner work. I've been doing the work in my own way. So there's no more that we need to do. Just flow and be open and receptive. I'm a lot closer than you realise. So sooner or later we're going to come together and it may or not may not be perfect at the beginning but it's something that, that we build and it's something that we keep on building for the whole of eternity. If you just go with the flow, we'll have the opportunity to mend and deepen the connection. We're not meant to be without each other. This is a time for uh, being open to speaking our truth to each other. I can still feel you. Oh, yeah, I can feel your presence floating around through and through.
I can feel your presence all around me all the time. Yeah, please know that I am feeling this, everything that you're feeling, I'm feeling too, everything that you're doing, I'm doing too. A renewal, there is a lot of renewal happening in our union. And that's going to be reflecting in the people around us, the people that we attract, the people that come to us for help. You're, you'll probably be becoming more aware of the people around you, feeling this calling in their heart as well. Everybody's going at their own pace and that's okay. And when our union comes into being, it's going to be a defining uh, moment for the people close to us. You will be having an effect on your loved ones. You should be feeling in the flow. The synchronicities of the scale, showing how much the energy has shifted. I am entitled to miracles. You're entitled to miracles because of what you are. You will receive miracles because of what God is and you will offer miracles because you are one with God. It was hard to know a few months ago what the energy would need to be like in order to have our union. It's a really deep sense of peace, knowing that separation never was, never was never real, never could be real, never will be real, and never happened. When we feel that, we just know. Okay, everybody, I'm going to end this message here. I really hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.